Today's video, we're going to be checking out the new Hasbro Avengers Infinity War. This is the Hulk. How tall exactly is the Hulk? Let's grab tape measure. That's how we figure it out. The figure is surprisingly small. In fact, the figure is about six and a quarter inches in height. To also put that in perspective, let's move the Hulk over and bring in the figure that we first looked at was Iron Man. And you can see, well, Hulk is not really as much Hulk. He's a little bit more of a shorter, he's a little bit more of a bulk, in all honesty, as wide as he is, but he's very short. Could have afforded to be a little bit taller, but I know they, they aren't going to really necessarily be making a lot of these figures, uh, you know, to be scale in scale with one another. But a bit of a shame that Hulk is as small as he is. Cue the accessory that he comes included with. This one, again, one of those strange sort of things. It looks like it's like a wrought iron, like a beam that's been yanked out of the ground or a part of a building, and you've got cement kind of encapsulating the beam, the girder, so to speak. And then attached to that is the Infinity Stone. In this case, this one is orange. Go ahead and detach it. It's got a little peg here and a peg hole, and that's what the stone looks like. Again, with its own symbol there. But it's just of the very odd placement of it. I could see maybe if it was up here, I guess you could attach it technically there. Or I guess somehow you could attach it to the little side rods that are sticking out. But it almost seems as if Hulk tried to smash it, smash it, and it got stuck on the actual concrete here where he's now trying to wipe it off. Ooh get that infinity stone off. So it very strange place to be putting it. I would say it's right up there with the placement where Black Widow's was. Just makes no sense whatsoever. Anyways, uh, it is a soft rubbery plastic. It looks like they have cast it in gray plastic and then the actual girder uh, is more of a gold kind of gold metallic paint. It only attaches into the one hand, unfortunately, much like the other Infinity War figures. Uh, Hulk only has one open hand. The other hand is for smashing. Smash, smash, smash. Unfortunately, again, you can only really hold it in one hand. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take that out. Don't want to spend more time on it than we really have to. The figure itself is actually really good. Uh, it doesn't seem like colors line up. Let me explain what I mean by that. The torso feels like, for starters, it's a different plastic than the arms, and equally so, the arms and the head match color, and then the torso is a slightly lighter shade. In fact, it actually looks even more obvious in camera than it does in person. So I don't really know why it has to be. It doesn't also help that his arms, as well as his face, specifically his face, is extremely sweaty. Me Hulk, me sweaty. The torso does not have that, which also adds to even more looking like it's separate and not quite lining up color-wise with the rest of his limbs. Uh, he is very muscular. That could be said for the Hulk. Equally so, very stocky, something we've already discussed. He has peg holes on the undersides of his feet. Doesn't come with a stand, mind you. Not having seen so much, really so much of, of the Hulk in the trailer for Infinity War, Basing it from the figure, though, it looks like he's gone back to using the spandex sort of shorts. I miss those days when the Hulk used what was just ripped shorts. I kind of miss those days. I don't really like the spandex myself, but I guess they have to give some explanation why, you know, Banner's pants could rip and then be perfectly fine. Uh, he does have some additional gray here. Otherwise, it would just be a very, very blue experience here. Um... Kind of a navy, kind of purplish blue, and it looks like it's a slighter different shade here than it is on the back here. 
Slight texturing also been added into the pants, so it's not just simply a smooth coat of paint. I don't really know if these are supposed to be painted in. As you can really see, they've only painted this band, this kind of shape, outer shape on the side. I don't know if these are supposed to have some additional paint as well, or if they're supposed to just be blue. I guess you could say that this figure doesn't really have a whole lot of paint, but it's kind of like in the same vein as Iron Man. Iron Man being an all red, primarily an all red costume figure, translates to a figure that pretty much doesn't have a whole lot of extra paint. Hulk being the same thing, he's very green, that could be said, translates to a figure that's for the most part all green. I didn't really even talk about his face, let's do that right now. His face is, from a Hulk standpoint, passable. His hair could have maybe been a slight shade darker, especially when you fact factor in that his eyebrows are as black as they are, and then his hair seems to come across almost more like a, a very dark gray than anything else. But for a grimacing Hulk face, it's, it's acceptable. It's not terrible. I wouldn't say it's great either. It's kind of just middle of the mark. Even close up, I can see how different the torso is from the rest of the, like the, again, the face, the arms. Very, very noticeable different shade of, of plastic utilized here. For Hulk's posability, we'll have to bring the camera back. We'll be back, we'll be back, there we go. Uh, for his posability, his head rotates all the way around. Arms hinge outward like so. From actually just for a second here, it does seem as if his forearms are a little bit too unnecessarily big, but I guess it's really it's not it's not that bad. Just kind of stopping for a second, I was looking at it. Okay, let's resume. So his arms rotate out. They also rotate all the way around. He's got a hinge in the elbow, which also, if you could believe it, allows him to rotate at the forearm. He has no waist swivel, which is extremely surprising. I guess none of the other figures really even had waist swivels either, but for the nature of how big the Hulk is, I would think there would be a cut right there where you'd be able to swivel the waist. No such luck. His legs? Yeah. 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 No hinge out on the legs. What you just saw was a good example of the limitations that these basic class figures have. If that is enough for you, then really, overlooking the fact that his plastic doesn't seem to quite gel, it's actually a pretty good looking Hulk, in all honesty. Let's talk the negatives. Okay, negatives. The guy's torso is not quite the same shade of green as the arms, the head. I guess the legs are kind of a little closer to the torso, but the arms and the head seem slightly sweaty. Slims seem slightly darker. Continuing on with the negatives, the Infinity Stone, I don't know why it's there. It seems like Hulk was smashing something and in the process of it, found himself an Infinity Stone. Let's talk pros. Pros, the face sculpt isn't terrible. Even though the shade of green doesn't jive with the shade of green in the torso, the face sculpt is acceptable for Hulk. I do like that they've got a grimaced look on his face, so he doesn't have a very calm, I'm about to do a crossword puzzle Hulk. And uh, overall, paint and sculpt on his body is also done very well. Marginally well. So those are your pros, those are your cons. All around, a good looking figure. I guess one of the other cons, negatives, negatives, is the fact that he is a little on the short side. Not that I'm nitpicking short people, but Hulk should have been a little bit more towering than what he is. Ultimately, he's the same size as Iron Man. Not Hulkbuster Iron Man either, just regular Iron Man. There you go. There's your negatives. There's your positives. I'll leave it to you to decide whether you'd want to pick up this figure for yourself as we're wrapping up another video, having a look at the new Hasbro Infinity War, Avengers Infinity War, and this was the moderately incredible Hulk. He probably could have been a little bit more incredible if he was a little bit taller. Moderately incredible Hulk. Hulk. Uh, if you guys haven't had a chance to hit that little subscribe button down below, make sure you do so. More videos will be coming your way. Yes, yes indeed. More videos heading your way. Maybe even today, I don't know. Depends on how many videos I upload a day. Sometimes I, I upload a lot of videos in a day. So sorry for that. 
but there's a lot of stuff I'm always reviewing, so that ultimately means that I, if I don't upload it all right away, it just sits and then it gets a little outdated. So we try to keep the content current. A lot of C's on this channel, but make sure you hit that little subscribe button below. More videos will be coming your way. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.